Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, my name is Mizobuchi uh, from uh, Olympus Corporation. It's my great honor to give you a presentation today. Uh, the title of my talk is Medical Endoscopic Imaging and Requirements for Future Image Sensor Design. Uh, the outline of my talk is after a brief introduction, uh, I'd like to talk about image enhanced endoscopy and then discuss requirements for future image sensor design and conclusion. Uh, basic diagnosis of the endoscopy is to observe uh, mucosal anomalies, coloration, and surface pattern, and to determine whether a region is present. Nowadays, in the endoscopy, uh, it, is possible to, uh, it is possible to not uh, only uh, diagnose whether regions are normal or not, but also to support uh, the decision of therapeutic strategies. Uh, along with the development of the endoscopes and the uh, establishment of the uh, diagnostic theory, uh, endos uh, the endoscopy is expanding uh, from, uh, sorry, uh, from uh, diagnosis to therapy. In terms of the endoscopic therapy, uh, hemostasis and biopsy, polypectomy, are widely used. But recently, uh, more advanced therapies, like endoscopic, uh, endoscopic mucosal resection, and also endoscopic submucosal uh, dissection are performed. Uh, they are uh, uh, to know about the presence of regions and uh, 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 boundary of the region and invasion depth of the region and not to damage normal mucosa and thick abrupt uh, capillary. Uh, thick abrupt vessel, sorry. And the application of the endoscopy is expanding to the uh, surgery, uh, like uh, cholecystectomy and uh, intestinal resection and hernia repair and lung resection. Uh, endoscopic surgery uh, follows several steps. Uh, first of all, uh, abnormal cavity is inflated with carbon oxide gas, and then uh, trocha tube are inserted, and endoscope and hand instrument are uh, operated through the trocha tubes. Uh, endoscopic surgery is less invasive therapy for the patient and reducing the hospitalization and accelerating the rehabilitation. <coughs> Uh, it is cost-effective uh, therapy and expanding to the uh, various surgeries. Uh, this is one of the clinical images uh, uh, of the endoscopic surgery. Uh, for the case of the laparoscopic low anterior resection. Uh, so actually, 4K resolution image uh, uh, 4K resolution image secures the visibility in the uh, field of operation. Uh, next, I'd like to move on. Ah, sorry. Uh, this, uh, the bottom line is, you know, uh, the therapies uh, evolved to be uh, less, ah, sorry, less invasive. Uh, uh, from expanding from surgery to the endoscopic therapy. The, from the viewpoint of the imaging, uh, 4K and 3D, uh, like direct observation and high resolution and high sensitivity for image enhanced endoscopy are, are required 
uh, to diagnose uh, presence of region and boundary and invasion depth of the region. Uh, next, I'd like to move on to the image enhanced endoscopy uh, using optical light filtering technology. Uh, we have already released uh, five generations of the video systems. Uh, diagnostic accuracy uh, in the fourth and fifth system uh, has been improved uh, by adapting uh, high def definition imaging and also uh, image enhanced endoscopy. Uh, this slide shows the trend of the uh, maximum resolving power and uh, uh, diameter of the uh, distal end of endoscope. Uh, steadily reducing the uh, diameter <coughs> of the uh, distal end of endoscope, uh, maximum resolving power has been improved. Uh, we contributed to the uh, improvement in diagnostic accuracy and also decrease of the uh, patient discomfort. Uh, uh, in addition to the uh, normal observation under the white light, uh, we have a technique uh, to uh, uh, improve the visibility, uh, uh, so-called uh, image enhanced en endos endoscopy. So actually, we have three techniques, uh, NBI, IRI, and, and AFY. Uh, in the white light illumination, uh, it is difficult to distinguish uh, re uh, the regions uh, uh, from the other normal uh, mucosa. The, however, by applying a special light filter, uh, the image uh, of the region is enhanced. Uh, optical light filtering technology like NBI, IRI, and AFY is uh, to diagnose presence of region and boundary of region and uh, invasion depth of the region. Uh, they enhance the diagnostic capability and support uh, the decision of the therapeutic strategy. Uh, this slide shows uh, uh, light penetration depth uh, within a tissue and uh, uh, narrow, band, uh, narrow band width. And uh, so as you can see, see uh, uh, light penetration depth uh, within a tissue highly depends on the wavelengths, and the narrowing bandwidth uh, can enhance uh, differences in the penetration depth uh, between the wavelengths. We use uh, these characteristics uh, for the uh, image enhanced endoscopy. The objective of NBI is uh, the enhanced display of the capillary and fine <coughs> pattern of the mucosa surface, especially a region densely packed with the capillary uh, by using narrow band light of 450 nanometer and 540 nanometer. Light absorption in blood at the wavelengths of 450 nanometer uh, highly uh, contributed to uh, clearly capturing uh, uh, the uh, capillary on the mucosal surface. The next one is IRI. Uh, in, in contrast to the NBI, uh, longer waves, uh, wavelengths in the infrared region uh, used uh, for the observation. So we can observe 
deep blood vessel uh, by combining uh, uh, contrast agent like ICG, ICG is endocyanin green, and uh, narrow band light of 805 nanometer and 940 nanometer. And uh, the last one is AFY. Uh, the objective of the AFY is uh, enhanced display of the, of the tumorous region and uh, normal tissues uh, by detecting the autofluorescence uh, generated by the living <coughs> mucosa uh, when the excitation light uh, is irradiated and applying different tone uh, to the resulting image. Uh, for example, uh, the uh, autofluorescence is affected uh, by the thickness of the mu mu uh, mucosa uh, uh, due to the uh, scattering and also absorption. However, uh, G prime reflected light is less affected uh, the thickness of the, uh, mucosa. So we can observe uh, different tone of the autofluorescence uh, between the uh, normal mucosa and the uh, uh, second mucosa. I'd like to show you some uh, clinical image. The first one is uh, barite esophagus. So under the white light illumination, uh, it's difficult to distinguish uh, whether uh, region, uh, wh where region is. So however, uh, NBI uh, allows us to clearly observe uh, the diseased tissue. And the next one is uh, adenoma of the colon. NBI is capable of uh, well contrasting the tumor from other normal uh, mucosa. The next one is IRI. So the observation of the ICG uh, is observed uh, to identify uh, central lymph nodes uh, in the uh, the procedure is like this, uh, injecting ICD into the, uh, through the endoscope into gastric mucosa around the cancer region and uh, uh, wait for a while until uh, the ICD uh, dwells in the central lymph nodes. Under the white light illumination, uh, it's difficult to uh, identify the central lymph nodes, where the central lymph nodes are. But uh, uh, IR observation shows the, uh, 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 where the you know, central lymph nodes exist. Uh, the last clinical image is AFY. So as you can see, uh, uh, Right hand pictures, uh, AFY is capable of well contrasting the tumor from other uh, normal mucosa. Uh, next, I'd like to move on to the uh, requirement for the future uh, image sensor design. Uh, there are a number of requirements uh, for the uh, medical image sensor. Uh, as well as uh, mobile phone application, the basic requirement is uh, resolution, and dynamic range, sensitivity, and low noise, and fewer defect. In addition, uh, endoscope dedicated requirement is small chip size, a small number of pins, low power, and high reliability. So I'd like to uh, focus on the resolution, dynamic range, uh, small chip size today. Uh, on the uh, distal end of the uh, endoscope, 
the, the area is shared by the uh, objective lens and the image sensor unit and, and the light guides and uh, uh, channel for the hand instrument and nozzle for the uh, jet of air and uh, water. Uh, allocated uh, uh, chip size uh, for uh, the image sensor is uh, only uh, three by three square millimeter or less than that. So it is important to shrink the chip size uh, of the image sensor. Okay, looking back to the, the trend of the uh, pixel shrink for the mobile phone application, uh, the pixel size has been shrinked year after year. Uh, however, uh, it remains around 1.1 to 1.0 in the recent years. Uh, this is uh, basically due to the, the limitation of the SN ratio and also uh, full well capacity. So in terms of the uh, dynamic range, the first product uh, coming up uh, uh, in 2011 to 2013 are uh, limit, <coughs> limited by the full well capacity. However, the latest ones uh, were improved by the use of the state-of-the-art technology uh, like a deep photodiode and vertical transfer gate and also uh, deep, torrent, deep trench isolation. Uh, dynamic range uh, uh, for the medical image sensor uh, affects uh, image gradation, especially uh, visibility of the blood capillary. So the uh, keeping full well capacity uh, same uh, and despite of the pixel shrink is uh, very important. Uh, this is a schematic drawing of the uh, image sensor uh, equipped uh, inside an uh, endoscope. So as you can see, it, uh, chip size directly affects the uh, diameter of the endoscope. Uh, we need a, a larger pixel area in the uh, limited uh, 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 chip size uh, in order to keep a uh, high pixel num higher uh, uh, pixel number or the uh, larger pixel area. So, so I think that uh, uh, high occupancy of the pixel area is uh, one of the solutions for the uh, medical uh, endoscope. Again, looking back to the technology trend, uh, mainstream technology uh, for the mobile phone are already developed is PSI and the pixel shrunk to 1.1 or 1.0 and stack and the TSV technology. These technology are uh, very attractive for the medical endoscope. So among them, uh, uh, stacked technology and TSB technology are very important in terms of the uh, pixel area uh, occupancy. So uh, this is a, a recent trend of the uh, advanced stacked technology and uh, 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 they are uh, moving to uh, more accurate alignment and also uh, tighter TSV pitch. Uh, the most recent one is, so basically metal to metal direct bonding uh, uh, without TSV. Uh, this is a, you know, a very preferable uh, trend to the uh, also medical uh, endoscope image sensor. And uh, uh, based on the recent uh, technical conference data, uh, I have plotted uh, the uh, relationship uh, uh, chips, uh, uh, between the chip size, pixel number, and pixel area occupancy. And uh, 
ブルーサークルスショーズ CCD and レッドトライアングルショーズシーモスデータルアウトプット without stack and グリーンスクエアショーズシーモススタックデジタルアウトプット It is obvious that CMOS digital output without stack shows a lower number of the pixel and also lower pixel area occupancy than the CCD. However, CMOS stack digital output shows almost the same pixel number and also pixel area occupancy. Uh, however, the problem was, uh, was, was uh, you know, uh, medical endoscope application requires the chip size less than three by three. So uh, there are almost no data uh, in this region. So I estimated. Uh, this is, you know, estimated uh, condition. And uh, uh, pixel number is varied from VGA to SXGA. And the pixel size is two size, 1.4 and 2.2. So image sensor type is also varied, interline CCD, CMOS stacked digital, and CMOS stacked analog. So this is the estimation result. And uh, uh, first of all, uh, the pixel area occupancy of the uh, uh, pixel area occupancy uh, less than uh, three by three square millimeter uh, is uh, 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 decreased uh, as you know uh, chip size uh, is shrunk in, in each chip. Uh, so among them, uh, CCD shows uh, higher pixel area occupancy. So on the contrary, CMOS stack digital output shows uh, uh, lower pixel area occupancy uh, uh, than CCD. And uh, CMOS stacked analog chip uh, shows uh, almost uh, same pixel area occupancy uh, compared to the CCDs. So the uh, CMOS stacked analog approach is uh, one of the solution. But uh, if uh, uh, following, you know, uh, advanced stack technology uh, can be used uh, uh, so, uh, so we, can, uh, uh, we can do the uh, uh, CMOS digital output uh, chip uh, using the advanced stack technology uh, like uh, oxide bonding, uh, Tyler TSB pitch or uh, metal to metal direct bonding. Uh, with tighter metal pitch. And also, uh, multi-layer uh, stacked process over the three-layer uh, uh, should work. Uh, of course, uh, we need a tighter design rule for the uh, uh, logic chip and also uh, chip scale package help uh, with uh, sec <coughs> securing the pixel area occupancy. Uh, finally, I would like to conclude my talk. Uh, endoscopic therapy is moving early diagnosis and uh, minimally invasive therapy. And image and endosco endoscopy uh, using optical light filtering technology is widely used to diagnose uh, presence of lesion and boundary and, and invasion depths of the lesion. And the requirement for future image test design are uh, uh, so basically high SNR and high resolution and a small chip size, uh, keeping high pixel area occupancy uh, as our, uh, one of the, our solutions. Uh, that's all my talk. Thank, Thank you. you.